Okay, I'm going to show you both ways to do the collar design. I'm going to use Cricut Design Space today. The, the process is, is basically the same um, if you want to use Silhouette software as well. So let's get started. I'm going to come up here and click New Project. So I have a new canvas. And I'm going to start with option A, which is in my tutorial. Option A is uploading a photograph of your actual sweatshirt and then using it here on the mat. So to do that, I'm going to scroll down here on this um, toolbar and I'm going to click upload. And you can see I uploaded a red one yesterday. Today I'm going to upload a white one so I can show you from scratch how to upload it because it's a little, a little finicky. So I'm going to go ahead and click browse, click over to my desktop, and then I'm pretty sure I have uh, change my view here so I can see. Here we go. Here's a picture that I took of, um, of a sweatshirt. So now over here on the select image type, I think it's just easiest if you press complex right away. Um, you can scroll down and just and then continue. And now I could remove the background, but there's really no reason to do so. So this looks great and I'm just going to apply and continue. So it really doesn't matter which one you, you insert. Um, I just always go with a print then cut image because then it imports basically as a JPEG. I don't need to cut anything. I don't need extra layers added. So I'm going to just do that. And then we can see it uploaded. And then I'm going to go ahead and select it and then click Add to Canvas. So that's going to go ahead and it's going to eventually insert that photo onto my canvas. OK, perfect. So I just took a measuring tape. And I basically measured from collar to collar across. Uh, I find that's the easiest way because I want to size my photo so that this dimension, this when I measured this, this was about 10 inches. So I just want to make sure that that's in fact 10 inches um, when it's on my canvas. So then my proportions are going to be right when I cut it. So the, the easiest thing that I found to do, instead of trying to line it up, let me click off that for a second. Instead of trying to like line up and size to get it to be 10 inches, um, I literally just took a rectangle or a square, popped it on my canvas, and then came, came up here and just made the width 10. So now it's 10 inches. So now I know that that's how large I need to make my, I'm going to have to zoom out for a bit. Okay, so that's how, how large I need to make my collar. So then I can just drag oops, this over so it's easier. So then I can just basically drag my photo to match that 10 inches. So this is 10 inches, and now this to here is 10 inches. So that puts my proportions um, on this canvas the same as my sweatshirt in real life. So that's my trick. We can go ahead and delete that guy because we really don't need him at all. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add my words. So I'm just gonna open a text box here and I did this last time to me. Um, Design Space has been acting kind of, it's been having its little fits recently. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so I typed Mary and Bright. That's what I'm doing today. And then I do not want this Cricut font at all. So I'm going to change it to a font that I previously installed on my computer. And I, I linked it in the tutorial how to install the font, fonts from other places like Etsy or font bundles, places like that. Um, creative Market, how to install those fonts that you purchased there up on, into your computer. So I linked that in the tutorial, but I'll show you here. I'm just going to select this drop down and it defaults to the Cricut tab, which is all Cricut fonts. But since I uploaded it to my computer, I'm going to click the system font here and then I can either scroll or I can type the name in. And today I'm using Cake Pop. So I'm just going to search for it, and there it is, and select it. 
and it's gonna take some time there we go okay so now what I'm gonna do is I need to curve this I want it curved along this um, collar here I kind of I chose a really terrible sweatshirt to show you this example um, because it's got this little v-neck here but really I mean we normally just set it on this little collar part here so I think it'll be fine but I'm going to use the curve tool so I'm just going to while my Marion Bright is selected I'm going to come up here and click the tur the curve tool and then you can see when you adjust the slider the word curves different ways so I'm going to go ahead and curve it to the negative because that's where I need it curved to and then I'm going to also, I can't select from there, just come over to the layers panel. I'm going to turn it here so that it's more along lines of my collar. And then I'm going to hold the shift key while dragging this corner to size it down a little bit. If you hold the shift key, it just um, sizes proportionally versus like, watch, like if I, if I don't hold the shift key, like I can, it, it goes kind of all wonky so okay so now I see I want my curve just a smidge less oh that probably looks pretty good oh that looks good for me and I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller because like I said I kind of you know that's my shoulder up there I want it down here where I'm where people are gonna see it oops so there we go so for me, that looks about perfect. So I am going to cut it. And to cut it, it's just like if you cut any other iron on vinyl. I'm going to just delete that picture. Then I have my um, Marion Bright and I'm ready to go. So if I were to click make it, I'm going to cut it on a mat. And here you go. And we just need to make sure that we click mirror because we're cutting. So that is the way that we are cutting. Um, oops, let's plug this in. Okay, there we go. Um, so that is the way that we are cutting. We can, I'm sorry, that is the way that we can size it if we are using an actual image. But let me show you now how we can do it without having to take a picture. Um, I'm gonna leave my Mary and write my layer here so we can compare a bit. But if you come over here to templates and click that, um, up here I can just, I'm just gonna select shirt. And then I chose really, there's tons of different classic t-shirts. There's all sorts of things. Um, just choose a classic t-shirt. The color line's about the same and it's going to import um, this template here and it does give you a notice that they're for reference only and they will not be saved or cut with your project so it's just like a little stencil a little template here so you can kind of see how things fit on a t-shirt and i really like that you can come up here and you can change what size it is um, small medium large any of that for me for what we're doing right here it really doesn't matter too much so I'm going to line this up here and I'm going to show you how it's actually um, pretty. Actually, we're going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Let's so we can see it a little better. So I'm going to show you this is what I did against my actual my actual right, right? This is the design that we just did against the actual one. And you can see that it's pretty darn close. So I might want to just come in um, here if I made this like a little bit curved a little bit more. Um, that would still be fine for my other project. So I feel like you can use these templates within Cricut Design Space and still get a decent, um, you know, like, like it'll match up decently onto the sweatshirt that you have. You don't have to take a picture of your own. But I wanted to show you both ways to do it because you know, to each their own. Um, and you can obviously type whatever words you'd like here, but that's what I'm gonna do. So absolutely the same as the last time. Nothing nothing is different. We're just gonna cut iron on as regular here. Um, select our mat, confirm, and like you, so you can see, perfect. I'm gonna mirror because it's iron on, and then I'm just gonna continue um, to cut the iron on like, like I would regularly. So 
I hope that helps. Um, there's so many different things that you can do. You can do your um, team sports, like the sports names up there. You can do your kids' schools. You can do, you know, teacher, the, the mama one, and um, all sorts of different things. And then, like, for this Marion Bright, I'm actually going to put a string of lights on the um, underside of the arm. So when you lift your arm up, there's a little string of lights in the back. So, so many options, so many different ways to customize, but just wanted to show you how to set that up for yourself.